Stage Manager is a truly unique feature that brought iPads to a completely different level. A level where now iPads compete with full-blown PCs and desktops. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can use Stage Manager to your advantage and all the tips and tricks related to that topic. So now let me just show you here on my iPad. Now let me just show you how you can use Stage Manager. First of all, you will need to activate it from your control center. If you can't find it in your control center, you can just go to your settings, go to control center and add it from here, Stage Manager, it is this one. Now, after you act, it will be deactivated at first, I assume, so you can just uh, activate it. But first of all, you will need to set up your settings for it. So for me, I do have, uh, let me just activate it at first. I do have this like uh, sidebar and this, uh, this below bar is control center or whatever you call it activated so now let me just show you how you can start by it uh, just open like maybe safari per se oh because i have them in a group they're all activated at once but now let me just put uh, oh no that's youtube i don't want that let me just open safari right here first of all if you have uh, if you have the application you have open on full screen you will not have this like sidebar open if you want it uh, to be opened, or that's because you are focused on this application. Let's say you will uh, you want to open another application, per se YouTube. You can just uh, slide it onto here, and it will come right here. And if you have the sidebar activated, you will have the sidebar right here. Let's say you no longer want YouTube, so you can just tap on the three dots and hide it. And But let's say you still want the sidebar, you can just uh, minimize this application a bit. Now you have the sidebar right here. Let's say I want to change between applications. I can just tap on YouTube. I, let's say I want my Notability application. I can just tap on it and it's interactive and it's uh, activated per se. So it's really easy to use. And right here, I can have multiple of Safari uh, websites open. I can just tap on with the whatever one I want. Now let's say I uh, what like what is this feature about? I want to open multiple of websites or application at once. So let me just do that. I can just uh, hold on to this uh, application or website or whatever I have opened right here, and I can just hold on to it. What's nice about this feature? I can minimize and I can change the size and aspect ratio of the application I have open. Let's see here uh, Safari. I can just hold on to this like. Uh, arch right here and i can minimize or uh, do whatever i want and i can have like two uh, applications open side to side and i can just minimize the second one to my likings it's a little uh, buggy right now because it's still in beta and i will make another video on how you can download the beta so make sure to watch it if you are interested so but what uh, like one really disadvantage about it that I do not like is that I cannot uh, freely move this application to the side or to the most uh, lateral side uh, when it's not in full size. So that's uh, you have to keep that in mind. So let's see right here. I have two applications open side to side, which is really nice. And I see this one like as the most used or uh, best uh, application for this uh, stage manager feature. So it's really nice and easy to use and I can always open another application if I want. And uh, I'm not sure if I can open settings in this view. No, I cannot. It has to be in uh, full screen. So it's really nice as I, and as you can see, it's interactive and I can work on all of the different uh, websites I have right here. So it's really nice. That's how you can use it, activate it and work with it. And uh, if you want to deactivate it, you can just uh, slide into your control center and tap it again, and it will be deactivated, and you can work with it again. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, as I will be having more videos on that topic uploaded shortly. So make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching. Until next time.